The Boruto manga is shaping up nicely with the inclusion of chapter 7. We start off with a flashback of Mitsuki saying to Kawaki that he's the sun that brines up his light and that Mitsuki is the moon that can brine the darkness that would come his way. We soon see that unravel in an interesting way in the next few pages. We transition into the fight that we've been waiting for all month, that being Sage Mode Mitsuki vs Boruto. And needless to say, it's a one-sided wash for Boruto's case. Before getting into the fight, Boruto first asks what happened to Kawaki since he'd be the main person that be after Boruto. Shikamaru informs him telepathically with Ino's mind transfer jutsu that Mitsuki is acting on his own after poisoning Kawaki. Mitsuki acknowledges that he and Kawaki wouldn't be able to do anything strength wise against Boruto since neither would be able to do the amount of damage that was done to Code like Boruto did. Boruto acknowledges that and stated that fighting would just be pointless then but Mitsuki pressed on saying that he's about to fight at full power all for the protection of Kawaki. In short, this becomes a mute point given what's about to come. Boruto is able to avoid most of Mitsuki's advances even with all of the snakes and snake clones sent against him, slicing through them with what looks to be flying Raijin, as well as using his Thunderbolt Jutsu against Mitsuki's Snake Lightning Jutsu. Boruto has the upper hand and has the perfect opportunity to finish off Mitsuki, which even he acknowledges in telling Boruto to finish the job, but Boruto can see through the deception in Mitsuki's actions, noting that what he believes in relation to how he feels about Kawaki isn't holding true. Boruto lets his guard down before saying that he is the sun that shines for Mitsuki, but then Mitsuki took the advantage and grabs a hold of him. He of course doesn't do anything to Boruto, because whether he realizes it or not, Boruto has a point. Whenever Mitsuki is around Kawaki, it's more so he's trying to force the connection that he allegedly had once towards him. Mitsuki lets him go and Boruto confirms that he's not planning on killing Kawaki as he still sees him as a brother. We also get the revelation, or rather some of the characters like Shikamaru, Mitsuki, and Ino get the revelation that the seven Hokage and Hinata are alive. Boruto then leaves Mitsuki, knowing that Mitsuki was able to shine on his own, but if he still needs the sun, then Boruto is up for the position. We then cut to Kawaki asking Ido where did Mitsuki go after he woke up from being poisoned, then we cut to where Boruto explains what has been going on in relation to all that has happened up to this point, with how everyone's memories got overwritten because of Kawaki and Ida. Then Boruto drops the bombshell, saying that it doesn't matter that he knows, since Sarada and the class rep have mentioned to him countless times. It appears to be because of the jutsu itself, not allowing the concept of omnipotence stick in people's memory. I'm curious to know what he meant by that, given that from the reader's perspective, this didn't seem to be alluded to beforehand. At least from what I remember and from my perspective, I do remember in the beginning of the new Boruto manga that Sarada was trying to explain to Shikamaru all that's happened, but he did acknowledge to Sarada that she needs to stop with this quote unquote nonsense. Regardless, Boruto still says that he doesn't intend to kill Kawaki, saying that he'll just slug him, Pause. and then that they'll just get along just fine. Shikamaru understands where he's coming from, but he knows that he will still be purposely falsely accused as it is necessary for the time being, especially since it might rather up some feathers for Kawaki's behavior. Boruto says that's fine and that he was expecting that response anyways. Then we cut to one of the Tentail soldiers, I think his name is Jora or something, feel free to correct me in the comments below, saying that the more he grows with knowledge, the more he has questions about how the world works. That said, no matter what book he reads, he's not finding the answers he desires and wants to pursue one towards Naruto. Like I said earlier, the Boruto manga is shaping up to be something spectacular. I'm interested in where this is going, so hopefully the quality matches with it. Do you guys think Code has something up his sleeve we don't know yet? Do you guys also think that Sasuke is down for the count? I'm curious to know y'all's take on the manga so far as well, so let me know in the comments what you want to see in the upcoming chapters, and also if you guys want me to continue providing reviews for each new chapter as they drop. Until next time, I'm the Curly Haired Okage, and I hope you all have an amazing and blessed day. Peace.